Joining us on The Informer is a young guy who's got a tremendous idea. Uh, four months ago, they saw an opportunity and you know what? Four months on, they've started a company called T-Scan. It's all about thermal imaging, which is going to be so important. His name is Christopher Coffin. Chris, welcome to The Informer. Hi, George. Thanks for having me. No pleasure. And as part of the program, what we like to do is push new ideas, uh, show the world uh, what's going on out there maybe they hadn't thought about, and also talk about politics, talk about sport, talk about a host of other things. But you've come along with a fantastic idea and some, looks like from here, some amazing technology which is going to give us an opportunity to come back into business, into sport, into our offices that two, three, four weeks ago, or maybe four or five months ago, we were terribly concerned would never happen again. Yeah, that's right, George. Um, um, it's quite a lovely way of putting it. But um, yeah, look, we, we, we saw an opportunity and we started to have a couple of discussions with um, a few different industries and develop and quickly understood that there was a real need for this particular solution. Well, Christopher, what do they say? Uh, necessity is the mother of invention. And along came the uh, the T scanner. Is that a T scanner? That's right. Correct. So um, <laughs> the model the model that we've got here it's it's um it's an Android um, tablet that's linked to a thermo imaging scanner. Yep. Um, and it runs a particular type of AI algorithm for facial recognition. Now, how accurate it, is it, this going to be? to accommodate the needs of the businesses that will want to uh, apply or, uh, or make sure they have one in their offices or in their businesses? Absolutely. It's a huge fundamental of, um, I think, uh, the COVID uh, back to work, safe practice planning. And, and um, we're seeing it currently be used, uh, the, the, the technology or the solution being used now in airports. Um, we're seeing them as well. Uh, obviously, the Victorian government just um, you know, bought 4,800 handheld scanners um, for the holidays and then now another 14,500 uh, for the schools to obviously create safe practices to reopen. Um, we're also seeing um, the solution as well widely being adopted by a number of different um, industries, especially to do with managing um, you know, employees in regards to arriving at work, yep. uh, running a temperature check, and just ensuring that um, you know they've got a compliant workplace. Now, Christopher, how will how will it work uh, with a unit behind you there? Uh, if I if you station that, for example, outside our offices at the Informer, would I just stand in front of it and it will either light up green, red, pink, whatever, to signify Absolutely. that I am good, bad, or indifferent? Absolutely. So the accuracy on the solution is zero point zero zero one. Um, and generally, it's a one second per person scan, scanning speed. So single entry, um, you step to the device, um, it lets off a, um, an indication that, um, uh, that uh, you're safe or you're under the, um, uh, the temperature reading yep. of 37.5. Yep. Um, and if you're not, it'll actually send off a, a, a red alarm uh, and make uh, quite a large negative type sound to alert the people around you that, hey, you, you, you've got a you've got an elevated temperature. Okay. Now, I can see so many applications and I'm, I'm thinking that um, already that uh, you've, you've uh, managed to do the first thing in business and that is make business possible. Um, I can see this at stadiums. I can see it at clubs. I can see it at Johnny Collins' uh, Triffids. Uh, allowing his patrons to enter the building. That's right, George. Yeah, so, yeah, look, um, JC's a bit of a pioneer um, <laughs> in respect to uh, Brisbane nightlife here in, um, in Queensland. And um, I guess we're very lucky to um, have an opportunity to present that to JC. And, um, and he saw it definitely working within um, live music venues or large crowd capacities um, in order to obviously make, um, their patrons feel safe, uh, but also as well um, uh, uh, create um, a vision back to local government that um, you know that 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 these particular businesses are doing everything they can to to, to get back open safely. I can also see it being used at every hotel entrance. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, um, so uh, we've, we've got some um, early discussions at the moment um, that have taken place. Um, and obviously some of the, um, I guess, negative um, uh, news that's been out there or press that's been out there in relation to uh, employees and, um, uh, and helping to reduce and manage the spread uh, within those types of businesses um, has definitely opened up a lot of interest for us as well. Um, so we're, we're, we're trying to work with every industry as we can and uniquely um, to create a solution that obviously works for them and works within their safe practices. Now, Christopher Copper, we're talking to, he's the CEO of a startup company called T-Scan, Thermal Imaging Scanning. It's a fantastic idea. I can see so many possibilities. What I want to know too, Chris, before we let you go is, uh, with every time, every scan it does, does it, does it go into a bank? Does it go into some sort of reservoir of data that we can use and access in the event of something happening? Yeah, very good question, George. So um, there's two types uh, of solutions with the T-Scan. One is a standalone solution, which is just purely designed for um, the temperature scanning aspect. So, so stop and go. collect any data whatsoever. So that's a stop and go component, basically, huh? In other Correct. words, I stand Correct. in front of it, I go green, I go through. If it goes red, I that's stop. It. Okay, so that's one yep, way. That's it. What's the second way? That's it. Um, and the second one is we've got um, a software development kit which actually integrates into um, any existing operating platforms or cloud solutions that a customer might particularly want to use. Fantastic. Um, so, for example, we don't have any control, we don't store any of the data. Um, if a particular type of organisation, um, for example, let's say a... Um, um, an events know, firm. A, uh, an events firm. Yeah. Yep, yep, an events firm or... You've got, or, you've got um, your protocol say, list of all your names there and as they step in in front, right. you tick, 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 um, and you know. Yeah, a really good one that was identified was um, building uh, floors, so oh, access yes. to the floors. Um, it'll run a, um, a temperature scan and then also um, uh, run an ID check and link that particular employee back to um, their specific building floor that they're on um, for their business. Mate, so, uh, we wish um, you... So we wish you every success with it. I think it's a fantastic uh, initiative. And once again, living proof that uh, out of chaos and out of uh, uh, real crisis, if you think sharp, if you think ahead, if you think differently, you can come up with something that will lead the pack. And uh, from the look of it, Chris, uh, T-Scan could well be leading the pack uh, into getting people back to work. Thank you very much for joining us on The Informer. Thank you, George. Thanks for having me.